Going for a country gravel road ride in these Otis Mass. Gonna do a loop around the Otis Reservoir. Very nice ride. Starting out at the Laurel Ridge Campground. Riding with Monique today. Sun is starting to burn off. A little bit of yesterday's rain. Should be a low traffic, pleasant ride. Fred's eggs because the H fell off the cooler. Head out. This is the Otis Tolland Road. As we get on the other side of the lake, we'll end up pedaling by the Tolland State Forest. We're on the Otis Tolland Road for Probably a mile and a half. And we're going to come to an intersection. We're going to make a left onto a dirt road called Schoolhouse Road. Coming up to the end of the Otis Holland Road, we're going to make a left onto Schoolhouse. Pedal some dirt. Fairly flat ride. There's just a couple of hills along the way. Thing really major. It's a good ride for all levels. It's good. The good portion of it is on dirt. So there shouldn't be a whole lot of traffic for the next bit. And there we go. On to the gravel ride. Schoolhouse has had a gradual uphill. Nothing serious. Enough to cause a little resistance. Start to get the heart rate up. The internal furnace ignited. Several pull offs on Schoolhouse Road that you could park and get your bikes down. Use that as a start end point. If you don't do it at a place in town or if you're up in East Otis at one of the campgrounds, you could always start and stop there. Laurel Ridge would be one if you're camping there. Camp Overflow on the other side of the lake is another one. The Tolland State Forest, good place to go camping as well. What color was the salamander? Oh, yeah, there's one. You can tell it's a little moist out. There's some orange salamanders turned across the road. Hopefully they make it safe. Coming up on our next intersection. We're gonna make a right. On the Belden Road. This takes us around the end of the reservoir, which you haven't seen yet. But, nice gravel road riding. Woods, hardly any cars, nature. Road's in pretty good shape. Monique's Kona Road is doing well, She's enjoying that. Joining my Rove DL. How do you pick those things out? I don't see a single flower. 
Uh, and you recognize the leaves that well. Can tell you love the garden. Oh, got a downhill. Pick up a little speed, have some fun. Comes Monique catching up. Nice view of the road with the sun. Seeing him come up. This is what life is all about. Good company, doing something you enjoy. Not sure if you can see it. Get a glimpse of the water on the right. One of the far out bays on the Otis Reservoir. Place they call Dismal Bay. Nice fishing out here. You gotta be careful. You don't wanna ruin a propeller. There's a lot of stumps and things. But you gotta pay attention to. Coming up on the intersection. At the end of this road. We're gonna bear right. And start down the other side of the lake. This is the East Otis Road. Got to be cautious, slow down, don't want to get caught up in traffic out here. A little bit of road repair. Last time we rode this, we went down in and tooled around inside Stop Holland State Forest and the campground in there. And uh, they had just gotten a delivery of bear boxes. Big giant things that looked like about the size of a chest freezer to put all your food in when you're camping. We are out in the country, and the bears do live up here. Transitioning back to asphalt, on the right is the entrance to the boat launch. There's the Collins State Forest and the campground. You bring your boat up, good place to go. A cool view. I don't know if the camera will catch it. The sun is starting to evaporate off the water that's on the road here. Looks pretty cool. Monique seems to have a superpower that she has been able to pick out salamanders on this road like nobody's business. I seem to go right by him and she just points them out. Here's one of the first real climbs on this. It's not gonna be that long, but still got a pretty good angle to it.
other end of the lake. Still a country road. But uh, seeing a little more traffic than we did. People going to their camps, going to the campgrounds. Starting their day on the water. So for safety's sake, we turned on our front and tail lights just to make us a little more visible to the traffic out here. Almost, we still have a few miles to go. Go by some of the East Otis landmarks in a bit here. Coming up to our next intersection. We're gonna make a right on the Reservoir Road. That's gonna take us, I guess what you would call in the town. Fairly small town. Nice area up here. Nope, go straight. When we get to the bay, that's where you're going to bear to the right. Is the other end. The reservoir is about five miles long. You go from here to the end of Dismal Bay. This place, this little spot right here, holds a lot of memories. Back in the 80s, when I was young, you could rent jet skis out of this place. It's quite a bit of fun. So this dock where the pontoon boat is, right here, used to be a lot longer. I'll give you a quick view of what it's like going up the lake here. Here it is, that's the Otis Reservoir. The main body of it. It's got a couple bays. We're gonna follow this road. A little bit of traffic here, very narrow. But we're right pedaling along the reservoir. Coming up on a, another landmark, the j and Marina. Again, back in the 80s, this place was hopping. At the marina, at a bar, have a campground, all kinds of activity going on here. Still a busy place, but the, uh, the bar is no longer open. I think that's just changed, kind of cultural change from the 80s to the 2020s. Coming up is the center of town. Yes, East Otis, Massachusetts. On the right is Katie's General Store and fast food and ice cream. Yup, pretty much everything you need you can get at Katie's. Across the street, see, you might see the sign. It says Halls. That used to be a breakfast counter, general store. That has long bank clothes. It's just a building. I think somebody lives there now. And then Right here, with the alien in the window, is the Knox Trail Inn. This is uh, Route 23, it's gonna be busy for a second. We're gonna bear to the right and head back out to the campground at the Laurel Ridge, where we'll call it the start and end of this ride. Twenty-three takes you down 
to Russell and Westfield. This is the final leg. It's the road we started out on. going right by the campground again. It'll end up being about an 11 mile, maybe a 12 mile loop. We go all the way around the reservoir. That country road, dirt road, there it is. Boats are us, right across the street from the Laurel Ridge campground. That will end our Lotus Reservoir loop. Here's the map of the ride we did today around the Otis Reservoir. It was just about 11 miles. If you found this interesting, then I'll see you on the next New England Aging Rider.